got this dude, the Itachi man himself, Sinu Han. If not better, <laughs> if not better written, my nigga. <laughs> He's better than Itachi. We actually understand his point of view. Itachi <laughs> shit was last second, my nigga. Let's give it a fuck. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Play an hour? Listen, bruh. Yes, it took an hour and some change just to record, edit, bro. It took hours to edit, by the way. So I I encourage you guys to please watch this till the end of the freaking video, cause all of this and more were just nothing but laughs, jokes, and just absolutely freaking amazing. Again, also shout out to my boy Slim X Afton for the fire ass thumbnail and you know, being a part of this freaking video. But all in all, let, let's just get started with the video, man. <laughs> also subscribe, by the way. I, I, you thought, y'all y'all think I forgot. No, 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 no. 81% of you, come on, bro. Subscribe. Chop, chop. Okay, you can still hear me, right, Slim? Oh my fucking God, he's, he's muted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How's it going, Hell, Spongebob? Yeah. Okay, I was about to say, like, can you still hear me? No, oh, trust me, bro. Okay, thank God. <laughs> We're just doing other stuff. <laughs> Bruh, I swear to God, bro. This is like, what? This is take two, because apparently the fuck Greg Bug was not hearing me. But anyway, how's it going, guys? It's you one freaking player, man. We back again. And this man, I got a fan. I got a favor, okay? I got a favor boy right here. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. yeah. He, this man needs no introduction. He's pretty much was there during my Discord discussion vids. My boy is Slim. Hi, yo, yeah, yo, yeah, Slim X off on you know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> bro, and that's another thing. You have like so many freaking. You always change your name, bro. I don't know why. <laughs> you went from Slim Phobic, Slim Three Breezy, to Slim X after my boy. Pick a name, <laughs> bro. The, bro, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. The main, the bro, the main shit about the slim fucking three breezy shit, right? Bro, niggas thought I automatically hit women off for real, bro. What the <laughs> Bro, that's the reason why I had to change this shit, bro. <laughs> plus, they was, plus, they wasn't even calling me slim. They just kept on calling my ass breezy and shit. I'm like, yo, this shit sounds kind of gay, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, we're going to get into the top 10 <laughs> most disrespectful <laughs> lookism characters. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Also, let me Hell make yeah. Sure. So let who me do make we sure. have for number 10, my nigga? Yeah, but before, before we get to the 10, let me actually like stop the recording really quick because I want to make sure that, you know, the audio is good for you and for Fuck. me. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. This is, this is, this is, this is good. Just... <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, audio's fine. Everything's fine. All right. <laughs> testing, testing, testing. Yeah, but someone's really trying to go go for a freaking. <laughs> about to start this damn deal. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> Bro, I, I don't blame him. All right. Okay, so yeah. apparently since we're going from ten to one, I was really yes. going from, from one to ten, but whatever. You know what I'm saying? So at number ten. We got the boy Bosco. Now, motherfucking Bosco, nigga. Okay, Bosco the, the, the Tabasco. <laughs> Bosco the, the Tabasco. Okay, like bro. Yes. Let me let me tell you something. Okay, like listen. Now we all know about this man's little freaking backstory. Apparently, first and foremost, he was born like crazy as shit. And yep. after after like Goose saved him and all that stuff, this man went on a fucking one punch man training regimen. <laughs> <laughs> this mother, this motherfucker. I'm not kidding. He did a hundred sit-ups, a hundred push-ups, a hundred squats, and a fucking kilometer run, bro. Like, <laughs> and he did all that. And now he's strong as fuck. Like, I don't care, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. <laughs> nigga went from, nigga went from being a quiet kid to literally being one of the Child. strongest motherfuckers in lookism, like physical wise, my nigga. Like, bro, Think exactly. Exactly, like bro, like you look at him in the recent chapters. This nigga's Giga Chad, bro. <laughs> <Hell> <laughs> yeah, 
He's a brick than a bricker house. Now, why is he at number 10? Or he's even on this disrespectful list? Because this dude, basically, well, obviously, you if you watch my videos, you obviously know where this man stands. Yeah. This man literally ran during, like, the whole freaking, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was during the freaking fake bank account arc. And basically, they found out, like, you know, what's going on with this fake bank account shit. And basically, Vasco, his crazy ass, ran in that whole fucking building and basically just sold a lot of them dudes, bro. Man like, was, was a absolutely... one fucking army, my nigga. Exactly. <laughs> one man army shit. Exactly, bro. And what made it even more disrespectful is that one of those dudes, like Jin Jang and shit, was trying to test this man. I honestly thought this man was like, you know, predictable. But this man Bosco became unpredictable Hell and yeah. then just watched him. Nigga <laughs> <laughs> watched him like it was nothing. Hey, don't forget when his crew came, he was like, why the fuck are we even here? <laughs> exactly, like this man was like, Captain Zack, mission accomplished. Like, bruh, what the fuck? <laughs> Man thought he was in the military. So no, <laughs> nah, bro. That, that, so that's why he's like a number ten. Now, granted, like I said, we got like some like there has been some crazy motherfuckers who did even more disrespectful moments than this. But bro, yeah. Bosco's like that. That is it's just memorable, worthy. Now, as for number nine. We got this dude, the Itachi man himself, Sinu Han. If not better, <laughs> if not better written, my nigga. <laughs> He's better than Itachi. We actually understand his point of view. Itachi <laughs> shit was last second, my nigga. Let's give it a fuck. <laughs> it's all facts, no opinions. Oh, I don't man. care. Man. <laughs> man just put Tashi under the bar. I don't give a fuck. Tashi's <laughs> overrated. Oh, the Naruto Tars can come for me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> anyway, who are you, you going to uh, make them after me? Oh, say, Jesus Christ. Say, Swag Hokage, he got bitched by Seth. Hey yo, bro, we we not about to touch that freaking <laughs> We not about to touch that debate. <laughs> okay. So anyway, see the why, bro. Why he's on the freaking number nine. Now, now as I said before, we <laughs> it's the meme of the attack because basically pretty much like you know, sacrifice himself for a big deal. Apparently this man was worth one billion freaking won, apparently. It's after he just asked took- motherfucker. Exactly, like, bro, this man was what, bro? Imagine being worth one billion one. Like, nigga, I will sell myself too. Exactly. <laughs> but, but, anyways, the the what makes this man so freaking disrespectful is that this man don't even need a punch or none like crazy like that. No, all he needs is just one kick and a man's out completely. Exactly. <laughs> like he fucking one shot. And, and the crazy thing about this whole situation is is that this man has a blind spot. He's blinded in one eye. And he Yo. still solos a nigga, bro. <laughs> like, during, like, his little, like, crazy situation where he was, like, manipulating shit and basically, like, have, like, literally to no memory at all, he basically just dead-ass soloed the entire fucking big deal crew <laughs> like like it was freaking nothing. Even Jake, even though this man somehow awakened a power that could pretty much see an unseen attack, Dude still got washed. <laughs> and Bren, and, and, and the, most, the most other disrespectful thing, did not, it's not just from what he did to Jake. It was done from this sim boy, Ruhe, bro. Oh, my God. Like, oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to have to stop you there for a little bit. You did we it. have to mention that Sinu Han beat Jake twice? <laughs> hey, he's not the MC. <laughs> I thought you let him know. He's not the fucking main character, bro. <laughs> shit. We talking about disrespectful. Look what the shit he did to Vin Jin when he had his glasses on. Bro. He came after that nigga first. <laughs> it, it was it was a it was an it was an experience. I will say that. It was an experience. <laughs> Don't forget when he 
they thought they were jumping him. <laughs> but man, hit that Uno reverse and hit all three of them with the invisible attacks. Just absolutely forget it. Say like, yeah, madness. He deserves to be number nine on this list. He says to be nine. All right, bro. But now we got now next one. We got this man, Johan, aka Ooh. Blind Ooh, Boy. Disrespectful motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this man is fucking insane. <laughs> now, bro. As I said before, if you peeped my disrespectful moment, you already know what I'm about to say coming, bro. This oh, man, hell yeah. Johan, keep in mind, he went through a character development arc after the whole cult shit, which was absolutely messed up in every way, sense, and format. All right? Yo. This man, Johan, dominated the whole boxing circuit this man, Zach, was in. And mm-hmm. Zach, and don't get me wrong, and Zach, Zach, he was a little bit overconfident. He was like, <laughs> so you broke cocky hey, bastard. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, hey, yo, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to knock your ass out. You know what I'm saying? We about to go crazy. Man, Johan just only need one punch. One punch. And Zach is clean out in the fucking rain. <laughs> He did, in front like, of his girl. Was, in front of his, in front of his girl, in front of his girl. And he <laughs> told him like, bro, you can go ahead and keep her. Just know that she's going to come running for me anyway. <laughs> oh bro, he let that nigga have his leftovers. Exactly. He didn't like, even fuck yet. He, he was like, bro, here's your, here's my leftovers, even though I didn't touch that shit. <laughs> exactly, bro. He already <laughs> fucked her mentally. Instead of physically, that's a flex. That 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 that's an absolute flex. Imagine, imagine, the like fucking a chick mentally is way more yes. powerful than doing it physically, bro. Because that most that, definitely, that chick, hey. hey, that chick will be much like just messing a chick mentally would just make them want you like dead ass more. It's like on some on, obsession. Now. You know how these bitches love to fantasize and shit. Bro, exactly, bro. Like they fantasize and they thinking like, bro, like <laughs> imagine getting the real thing. They'll be mind blown. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's just that great. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. But you want to know what really makes him disrespectful, though? What? His rage. Oh, brother. Mm. Yo, 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 talk, talk to him. Talk to him, my boy. Mm. Mm. Talk bro. to him. As soon as Samuel told who was the literal part of his mom being on drugs and shit, bro, he went insane, bro. (laughs) Exactly. He was looking for that bitch. (laughs) (laughs) He was looking for that pity bitch, bro. The fucking lolly, bro. Oh, God, bro. And, And this man was so pissed. He was basically just blitzing everybody. Like, bro, one shot in them. Exactly. Like, during the fight with Vasta with some other bulky ass brother, bro, Johan was Steroid just. Use. He was just walking. He was literally yeah. just walking from the during the middle of the freaking fight. And dudes was just like, hey, yo, bro, this is our fight. But out, right? Bro, he knocks not one, but both of them. <laughs> look, 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 look. You want to know something that was crazy about the kick he did to Vasco? What? He made that shit look casual. <laughs> Move, bitch. Exactly, bro. Like this man said, get out, get out of the fucking way. <laughs> that man like he was a damn cockroach. Bro, no. That nigga, no. Johan, that day, he had murder on his mind. Exactly like that. Bro, bro. his eyes were <laughs> really <laughs> blood red. His eyes bro. was blood red. Did you see this shit when he had V, bro? He literally had this bitch Vivi like he was gonna kill this bitch. He killed her by her fucking hair. Bro. Right. But if you like Daniel was not there, Johan oh would have definitely killed her on the spot. Like, exactly. <laughs> it's, bro, the way he stared at her, bro, it said it all. It said it all, bro. It said it all. That's all I gotta say. It said it all. Bro. Yo, I is just. A different type, a different type of breed. It ain't even a competition, my brother. And that's facts, bro. So you're probably wondering, like, bro, 
that <laughs> Johan just blitzing everybody. It couldn't get more disrespect, boy. You, Ooh. you don't Ooh. even know. We're not you, even touching the surface. Bro, we not even touching it. This is this is we about to go in mad deeper than this. Ooh, we finna get when niggas get crazy. Exactly, bro. Look, like this nigga Eli. Bitch. Like this brother no Eli. Eli freaking Jane. Big oh. effing daddy. The man himself. Number <laughs> six. He's literally he's literally the most disrespectful out of all of these motherfuckers. <laughs> well, like, of right now, of right, well, right now, right now. Right of right now. now, of right now, like, bro, what this man Eli did, he basically put this one dude in a freaking genjutsu, believing that he was winning the effing fight, but in reality, Eli already destroyed him. <laughs> mm. And that was not even 1% of his freaking power, bro, he basically just washed him without even freaking trying. <laughs> Bro, he literally did that shit with his daughter's toy. Bruh, that, that, and that's, that's even fun. crazy. <laughs> that's even more crazy, like, bro, Man did that with his daughter's freaking toy. Like, he, <laughs> imagine, you, you, he basically forgot the baton at home, bro. Literally, and he's, bro. And he said, and yet he somehow was still able to wash the dude. Mm. Think about that for just, uh, just a minute. Just a, just but a minute. Do I know what makes Eli so special, bro? Talk that to not him. none of these niggas even did. <laughs> Talk to him. What do you do? This man was the only motherfucker to overpower gun physically momentarily. Yes, sir. <laughs> Who yes, has sir. done that? Who has done that? Keep in mind, we're not even talking to gun yet. Like you exactly. all know, everybody, everybody that watches my videos know that this man is the embodiment of him. Now again, we're gonna get to go when we get to him. We, we're we're gonna get to him eventually. You feel me? Yeah, eventually. But, but just to know that this man, Eli, scratched the embodiment of him and is alive to talk about it. It's alive he survived to a talk about it. A fucking beating, bro. Shoot. And what, and another and before we even move on, we got we got we got let we got let no, that this man Eli gave zero effing fucks. motherfuckers <laughs> vicious. Exactly, bro. Like, bro, Ooh. this he man called a he called a fucking bitch he doesn't even know a bitch off rip <laughs> in the whole house. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, and by and now, no fucks. He's definitely he's definitely one of the seven princes of no fucks. <laughs> right. No and, fucks what makes it, and what makes it even much more crazy? This man destroyed a man's neck. Like bro, I, I, bro, he, not, like Brad, and he did, did the most vicious way possible. This man jumped from a like a freaking tight rope to just being slammed. This man straight down to downtown. <laughs> bro said, "Fuck elderlies." Literally, like, exactly. Like you may be my senior, but shit, you ain't my senior. <laughs> you ain't my master, nigga. You ain't you ain't my master. I only only got one master, bro. And speaking ooh, of masters, ooh, him, bro, him. Ooh. And speaking of masters, bro. Jesus, ooh. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, bro. Oh my bro, god. Get, grab grab the prayers, bro. And oh god. Do not pick. Damn. Do not pick up the soap. Please do not do pick not. up the soap. <laughs> if you drop it, do not pick up that damn soap, bro. Because we talking about the Korean Fleece Johnson himself, bro. Number five. Bro, you are going way ahead. It's six. <laughs> oh, yeah, my fault. <laughs> I <didn't laughs> <remember>. <laughs> six. Number six. Number six is freaking Tom Lee. The wiener freaking hunter, bro. Like... Dog, you better not be small. Dog, you better not be small. I'm like, hey, I'm like, hey. No, this man, Tom Lee, is just a whole different breed. He is mm. from the pre generation where all these motherfuckers, all they knew was fight. Was <laughs> they, all they ever, all they, they were seeking, their ultimate goal was nothing. 
but to unify one leadership by mm. using nothing but their hands. Nothing they don't want but their hands. They want there was no guns, no no knives, no swords, no katanas, no. no. Shit. Just their hands. Think about that. Their hands. Bro. This man, like I said, bro, this man Tom Lee is just absolutely vicious. Like this, like like I said, when we was talking about freaking, when it comes down to freaking masters, bro, this man Tom Lee really <laughs> went up to Eli yes. in his own home, in his own, in his own playground, and snatched his daughter. What you gonna do about it, bro? And he was disrespectful. Acting him in the process, just kicking up and then just sitting on top of him. Casually. With his no fucks gave him. Exactly, bro. Like this man, like all his attention was on Yenna. Like, and that's the worst part. He was yeah, even he acknowledging his existence, looking at him at all. He was just bodying him like that. Exactly. Like that. And so, the fact that he came back. Bro, when he came back, but when Eli came to his freaking little office and stuff, bro, yes. this man Tom bodied him for a month straight. A fucking a month. month straight, bro. This man Eli. Well, first off, I gotta give props to Eli, bro. This man had like a whole bunch of determination and perseverance because they know <laughs> the perseverance is crazy. Exactly, but this man Tom was folding him a month straight. <laughs> I beg your pardon. And he was doing it while he was changing outfits. But I beg your you. pardon. <laughs> One was a freaking rocket. The other was some freaking alligator. Like, bro, come on now. And the and, and throughout the entire month, bro, but the month reached, this man Tom was dressing up like a my. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> and bro, and one of them, he was like, "You sure cocky for a beginner?" <laughs> Beat the second one. Tell him the second one, bro. Bro, the second, bro. Lord have mercy, bro. This is why I say he is the he is the Korean version of Felice Frickin Johnson, bro. This so basically this obviously takes place during like the workers affiliate and all that mm. you know jazz right. Obviously Daniel was able to work out some type of deal with Tom and stuff. Lucky basically, bastard, he's them. Uh, uh, hey, a lucky bastard indeed, bro. And this man Tom was like, hey yo, all y'all, we are gonna play a little game called Red Light Green Light. If y'all move when I say Red Light, y'all gonna I'm gonna check out that wing that you got. Back. <laughs> This man went ahead and stripped every single one of the freaking workers, <laughs> bro. He like, bro, he was stripping them all and saying like, hey, yo, <laughs> all y'all was small. <laughs> all y'all was small. I don't like small. <laughs> and just constantly just bitch, bitch slapping them, bro. In, in, in his the underwear. We're going to do this. Oh, it is underwear in general. Underwear. Bro. And then he finally get to freaking Eugene. Looked him Eugene. dead in his eyes. Deep in his soul. And Ooh. said, drop down your pants and show me that wing. <laughs> With the smile, bro. Hell no. No. No, bro. Ain't no he looked down way. on that nigga like he was prey. Because he was. <laughs> he oh, was. hell no. Nah. Don't oh. forget what else he said to Eugene, bro. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, brother. May I, bro? You tell him, bro. You tell him. <laughs> he said, and if you're feeling shy, I'll take them off for you. <laughs> oh. oh, God. No, hell no. <laughs> nah, nah. Eugene. No. Tom. Tom is a demon. That no question. No question. No question about it. This man is a demon. Man no, is a wiener demon, bro. Exactly. The glizzy gladiator. Well, no. The glizzy smacker. Because exactly. he will smack you with a glizzy. Right? Literally. He, he, he about to hit you with that dangler. 
And let's not forget one thing. And that is... When he interrupted UI Daniel's transformation sequence. Oh, disrespectful than a motherfucker. Bro, oh my god. Like, bro, I don't even understand. Bro, when he saw that Daniel was about to wake up and go on that UI, that UI mode shit, Tom was like, oh, no, can't have that shit. He's like, nope. Uh, <laughs> we, 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 we ain't, I, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you, bro. I ain't gonna, like, I ain't gonna do my gun, bro. You look like a gun. Oh my lord! And speaking of dad, all right, Ooh, we he, this man's on top five. All right, <laughs> yeah. this is our top yeah. five right now. Now, bro, I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty and a hundred. All right, I was going to just go straight ahead and be like, put this man's UI dang. but <laughs> I, I would forget about. Heat Daniel, aka Master Society Daniel, and all this other crazy shit that this man did. So I'm just gonna put Daniel just off rip. <laughs> Hell <laughs> yeah! But let's talk what? about Heat Daniel, aka Menace to Society Daniel. Daniel, this man, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna need y'all to like this man is basically the freaking Joker. Like apparently this man is just so freaking excited, like just absolute hysteria. Adrenaline is a motherfucker. Exactly, bro. So obviously, when this man just goes into heat, dang shit, like this man just going crazy, bro. So this his first introduction, apparently, basically he was fine against this man Samuel, who, by the way, is also crazy than a motherfucker. And bro, the hellhound. Exactly. And guess what? This man, this man Samuel got the brass knuckles on deck. About to put the brass knuckles on and decks this man Daniel so freaking hard. He goes down. Mm-hmm. But Daniel gets right back up. The fuck? And says and says, look, my boy, I'm actually kind of glad that I saw that brass knuckle in the freaking little, little area there. Cause I kept that mud junk. <laughs> Bro. Yeah, yeah. And my man said, was like, oh, so so that's what my shit was. So that's what my thing was, bruh. And my Definitely man was like, hey, yo, like and my man and my man Daniel was like, boy, if you don't, if you bet you better not cut me off ever again, because we about to get shit real up in here. Yeah. yeah. Bro, this man, all of these, bro, Samuel, Daniel, they basically just bodying each other. Let the by hands commit. Exactly. Fighting on a freaking Lamborghini, by the way, bro. bro. Like Daniel lands face on the damn hood while Samuel about to charge up and go straight in with the freaking all mother of Superman punches. Mm-hmm. And for some reason, this man Daniel somehow counters that motherfucker and just, bro, takes his head through the freaking windshield, bro. <laughs> And that's not and that's not even the cra- that's not even the craziest that happened in that fight. No 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 no. You thought <laughs> you thought you saw some shit. No. Daniel survived while getting guillotined by a freaking car door. <laughs> bro, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Bro, bro he survived. He's a survivor, nigga. Bro, this is a survivor. Man, Samuel was about ready to take this man's head clean off. He was going to kill this poor bastard. Yes, sir. Plot armor doesn't work on Samuel, bro. Bro, somehow, somehow this man somehow survived and just smiling, bro. Just smiling like, hey, yo, I want, I want seconds. I want seconds. Ain't no freaking way, bro. This man is the big man. Bro, but. Oh, tell him the one about Hudson, man. No, but but the, the bro, not, the craziest that was yet to come for this man, man, to society, Daniel, bro. Ooh. Bro, it all comes down with the club. Now, <laughs> in this freaking club, obviously, Daniel was like a gang hunted by some dudes that was trying to like fight James Lee. Now, obviously, this man Daniel was putting up a good fight, but he had he got knocked the heck out with one freaking punch clean out by a blonde dude named Hudson. So mm. obviously everything was all chill, right? Obviously, you know, Hudson, like, you know, I claimed victory, this was a waste of time, blah blah blah. Bro, this man Daniel came right back up. Start going crazy, messing up everybody. 
and then he proclaimed to everybody, like, hey, yo, brother, bring that motherfucker back here now. I want my set. I want my set. This is the rematch. Bro. And the fucking re bro. The most disrespectful that this man Daniel in, in his heat form ever did in this fight, bro. This man pulled out the freaking belt <laughs> and said, I'm about to discipline you that your daddy should have did. And bring yo ass here. <laughs> And like, and he starts, bro, he starts whipping this man from his behind all the way down to his loins, bro. I, come on, bro. <laughs> to his loins. <laughs> like, I, I beg your pardon? And it was the metal side of the belt. Exactly, bro. Like, you know that bitch hurt. <laughs> you know oh, that yeah. hurt. You know that shit. <laughs> but... And you thought you think we we're finished with Daniel's segment. No, 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 no. Ooh. I only discussed Heat, aka Menace Society Daniel. You I Dan. Oh shit. Let's go. Slim. Slim. You, you, on stage, brother. Come on. Tell him. Talk Bro, to him. Oh tell my him. God. Oh my god. Bro, when we saw little Daniel get launched, stopping the Samuel versus Jake fight. Oh my god. And the light started flickering. And my man was slowly walking, having those death of breaths and shit. Bro, we already knew these niggas was gonna die today, bro. <laughs> and the craziest part is that this nigga somehow gray ass fucking sentient. He's somehow exactly. moving on his own. <laughs> exactly. And you wanna know something that's crazy? What? Bro. How the fuck is your presence alone able to stop a fight with Samuel and Jake? That's even much more crazy. Like, bro, <laughs> bro them two fuckers hate each other, right? <laughs> and yet they had to team up to take down this man. And exactly. Oh god, the bro, tell down. him what happened during that fight, bro. The beatdown. Oh my god, was. Biblical. It, it will go down as one of the most biblical beatdowns in Wilkerson. This man, every punch, every kick that was thrown was perfection, was, was dodged, countered, <laughs> and was just treated like it was nothing more than a stick of literal dust. He <laughs> folded. Everybody in that motherfucker. <laughs> no one, no one could stop him. Not Jake, not Samuel, and not even Jerry. Bro, Jerry got the worst of it, bro. He, he did, he did. He, he, bro, he thought that, you know what I'm saying, he was the strongest of slice of, since sliced fucking bread or some shit. This man was training so powerful that he could pretty much defeat Jake and shit. And yeah. yet somehow, somehow, he launches the most powerless punch he ever did in his life. In his life. And that man, Daniel, just took that bitch, countered it, and sent that man all the way down to the ground from the east to the, the west. west. Back to the east. Back to the West. <laughs> <laughs> like no, nah, nigga. Bro, Bro, you wanna know something that's crazy that's even real crazy about that fight? Bro, oh. when oh. Johan appeared holding Evie's head and shit, guess what the fuck Daniel was doing? He was he, holding how Johan was holding Evie? Bro, you are Daniel? was holding Samuel the exact same way. Bro. <laughs> and Samuel <laughs> is fucking crazy. Exactly. He and put bro. the fear of God in Samuel. Fuck, fuck Samuel. He put the fear in God. Everybody in exactly. this fight. But specifically for Samuel, it's bro. fucking crazy. Exactly, bro. And the fight between him and 
bro. First off, I gotta give my flowers to Johan. He he did his best. Okay, yeah, he did his he, best. I, I, At least I he learned something. Up. He did something. I gotta give my best to him. He, he did he did the best. But guess what? It wasn't enough. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't you did enough. Something, but it was not enough, bro. And a then, for effort. Yeah, a for effort, but f for results. <laughs> Exactly. And then we got this man who, at this point, bro, we we, we need we need a savior at this point. Yeah, man, we need a whoosh. Because Oof, D- Daniel going way too crazy. Right now. He going way, 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 way too crazy. So Goo, obviously, he's like, hey yo, this is a little this is a little tense right now. This is a little tense right now. Keep in mind, Goo is always a man who cracks jokes. All right, he is a jokester. Fuck but. At this point, Goo was like, hey, yo, bro, damn, you better chill the F out, because you about to mm-hmm. get me, you about to get me serious up in this motherfucker. <laughs> you about to put, you about to put the demon in me. You about to awaken the demon in me. Bro, <laughs> Daniel pretty much broke this man's whole freaking weapon that he pretty much had. But mm. you know this man, Goo, bro. You know this man, Goo. But some... God dang reason. And I will, we're going to get to Goo, but basically, oh, hell every, yeah. t- every time he picks up something that feels like a little katana to him, apparently, he just going to, he's act, he about to act up. He about to he act up. Kid. And bro, this man Goo was ready to launch, about to d- deliver. He pu- pulled off the Zenetsu stance on this man, Daniel. First form. First freaking form, bro. And then that ass looked at like that Goo was in trouble. Because this man had his whole arm broken and everything. But for some goddamn reason, Daniel somehow passed out mid-fight. Parading a crater over his head, which is kind of suspicious of what actually happened. We ain't right, gonna speak so on that, though. We're not, yeah, we're not gonna speak on that. We ain't gonna speak on that. But the one thing we all gonna speak Man, you like Daniel was so great. It's so, it's so powerful. They even broke Goo's arm. And keep in mind, Goo is no slouch. Okay, he's a monster. He ain't no fucking slouch. And speaking of broken arms, bro, <laughs> bro. So you got the boy, bro. What, what did this man Daniel? Do? The embodiment of him. Talk, talk to them. Talk bro. to them, bro. During the fight with Gun. Oh my god. That was no fight. That was motherfucking homicide at its max. Two fucking honey badgers fighting each other. Because that's what the fuck that shit was. And I'm not even going to lie to you. That was arguably one of the best fights I've ever fucking seen. But what really makes that fight so important is that he broke the embodiment of him's fucking arm. Keep in mind. He's a bro. This nigga, he creates fractures. He's a fracture maker, my nigga. Bro. Like this man, like, bro. And the crazy thing about that freaking fight is that at first, Gun thought he, you know what I'm saying, he, he thought he was winning. He thought he was winning. You know, he choked that little big heck out of there. Then, then, Gun start hearing that boss music. Hell yeah! And at that moment, toward Gun already knew that <laughs> this was this wasn't going to be an easy fight to walk out. <laughs> like, why am I hearing Pain's theme song, bro? Why am I hearing Jordan's theme, bro? <laughs> why am I hearing Patano theme going on? Like, it's that snap off shit kicking in. Bro. <laughs> Can't. That man, when he heard that, he was like, oh, no, no, no. He's about to go crazy. <laughs> I'm, about to, I'm about to get the fodder of my life. Uh-huh. Exactly. And he was excited, too. Huh? This man was like, he said, like, hey, bro, I haven't had this much of a fun time since I fought Goo and shit. Hey, yo, let's go. And fucking Tom Lee. Exactly, bro. But, bro, like I said, Daniel's team. Like, like I said before, 
during his UI Daniel fight against all the fucking niggas in the African room with Big Deal and all that, bro, he put the fear in God in them. So every time that this man appeared, they would know and they would be scared. It's down to their loins. He's definitely one of the seven princes of demons, my nigga. A fucking hell. Literally. That's Speaking how bad hell. it was. Speaking of hell. Mm. Bro. Number four. Ooh. Freaking goo. Ooh. Like I said again, this man is the Joker. Okay? This man is a freaking Joker. Literally, during one ever first appearance, when he was blowing up a freaking bully, the bully was out here like, bro, why are you doing this to me? You're supposed to be like a hero or something like that. But you know what this man who did? This man was like, bro, I'm doing the exact same thing you did to them. I'm a villain. You think you, think you was hot shit before, brother? You ain't nothing compared to me. This man goo did the absolute most just flinging both of this bully's freaking henchmen. Mm. Then after that, slammed him with the freaking chair. And then after that, during the whole fight, this man made the bully wet himself after he realized that this man was dealing with a demon. A demon! How are you? I'm telling you, bro. Karma's a bitch. Exactly. Karma's a bitch. And the crazy thing about that entire situation, <laughs> they couldn't charge him for nothing. <laughs> they couldn't do shit about it. They was like, they was like, what the heck are we supposed to do? And my man goes like, nothing. You ain't gonna do shit to me. <laughs> okay. You ain't gonna do a dang thing to me. Nigga said the higher up saying shit to me. Mm -hmm. Like you can arrest me, you can put you can put me put me to jail. You know what I'm saying? But bring those three with me. <laughs> Go, a demon. Exactly. Yeah, every measure. Mm -hmm. Ever. Tell him that fight. Ever. Tell him about, talk to them about that fight, bro. Joan. If you think. If you think you saw something, bro, like I said again, like I said again, who is crazy? But what makes him even much more terrifying is that if he picks anything that is a literal weapon, that feels like a katana to him, he about to go crazy. Exactly. Like the fight with this mess here. Mm. See you, I love you, my brother. Yeah, that's who really old. dodged you. He dodged you. He, he, he you. Bro, they <sighs> messed this man see you up with nothing but a chopstick. A fucking chopstick. Man, a hmm. chopstick. <laughs> Explain to me. On like, bro, this man's trying to pull up some goddamn John Wick crap. Bro, literally. Like, are you there. kidding me? With a chopstick, and this man is just going away, slashing him like yada 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 yada, bro. Fruit ninja type shit. Exactly. Like this was a whole freaking game to him. A whole game to him. <laughs> and bro, the disrespect that he did to Johan too, bro. Oh my god. Swim, come on, mm. bro. On stage with the mic, come on, brother. What nah, you bro, you, I ain't gonna lie, bro. You got that one, bro. You got that one, bro. <laughs> you definitely bro. got that one, bro. Bro, Johan, like, come on, bro. Like, mm. he was trying so hard to try, like, hey, yo, bro. Look, y'all, y'all help me. My mom's all that, bro. And Goo's like, man, fuck your mom's. Mm. And just. Bodies him now. Keep in mind, y'all. I was trying to like you know try to do something, to but this man grew, bro. The amount of disrespect, it, it's it's biblical, nigga. Like nigga, if you thought Johan was bad, bro, who was a something type for type of breed? <laughs> exactly. 
<laughs> Go. He not. He forward with the money bag. Literally just spilling all types of money. And Goo just walks away and like, bruh, keep the change. You sure as hell need it. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. Now Nick is a villain. Exactly. He is the villain. Yes. Now we about to villain. go into the top three. Mm. And Lord have mercy. Good shit. Lord have mercy. Lord mercy. Help. May I? If you thought all four of these was disrespectful, my brother, mm. you haven't even seen disrespectful and it's finest. Bro, number three, we talking about him. Yes. We are talking about him. What is his pronouns, player? Tell him. It is he. And him! Damn. There is nothing, nothing that these like, there are nothing. All these disrespectful moments tossed out the window. Because Nigga we have been like this since he was a kid, bro. A fucking kid. Exactly. This Run man. Park, my nigga. Tell him. Bro, tell him demon. what he did to them. Bro, those poor first, kids. First and foremost, the, the one of the most memorable feats that this man has, ultimately, he pushed every last one on a freaking villain arc. Eli, villain arc. Johan, villain arc. Jake, villain arc. This man is the is the person that if you that he fucked too bad, you gonna get a feeling arc, my brother. He gonna mess you up so bad. He gonna make you like take vengeance. Yes, vengeance. Like it ain't even a question, bro. Bro, where do I even begin? First off, first off. Okay, obviously he's a working star. Okay, like I said, this man was a demon. Okay, he mm. was part of some freaking Yakuza freaking family yes. bloodline. And this man, whatever reason, killed and soloed every Yakuza rival. Period. The whole fucking clan. Bro, every subsidiary, every affiliate, period. And bro, what he did to Baga Penta, mm. brother. Yeah, he definitely put him on that villain for sure, bro. <laughs> he gave him a villain arc kit. This man made this man not basically just be a punk. B. It ain't even, bro. When Gun was basically bodying all of the freaking family, this man got him begging, pleading to him. And my man Gun's like, "Oh, you you wanna you wanna give me like a fealty? Hmm. All right, do something that will that will, that will be some something worth my time." Hmm. Malcolm A cuts off one of his pinkies, and Gun's like, "Nah, ain't enough for me." So he cuts off his other pinky. And Gun's like, nah, try again, my brother. And then my man Gun picks up the sword and slices his face off and be like, my brother, I want your life. Think you can give me that. <laughs> Bro. And the worst thing about it is that he don't even remember this nigga's name. <laughs> well, Magama, on the other hand, he idolized him, admired him. But Gun, he just thought nothing but nothing to him. He was just a speck of dust. Not he worth remembering. Fuck. Not worth remembering. Now, if you thought that disrespect was bad, mm. brother, 
Oh, sweet mother of mercy. Disrespect Bro, what that he, he did. did to Jake. Jake. I'm gonna get to Jake. We gotta Ooh. get to Jake. Who you got for him, man? The disrespect he did to the Holston family. Mm. Oh, sweet mother, have mercy. Those, they, now don't get me wrong. They was winning. Yeah. They was winning. They was getting some hits. They was winning. Yeah. But this man done was like, okay. Now, but now we finna, finna fight for real this time. Bro, when I tell you, mm. and keep in mind, they was 4v1 again. Yeah. And a man who was only reversing a 4v1. You gotta Literally. be a different type of breed. <laughs> this man gun. Or did a Uno reverse card on, on these boys, bro. Literally. And he bodied them with little to no effort. He was like, <laughs> so y'all thought was hot? Guess again. <laughs> bro. He takes down the freaking goddamn dynamic duo literally mm. destroys war and he he stopped this man out and was like bro you may be a lot of things but you is not him <laughs> you is not <laughs> him <laughs> and brother this is, when I tell you, we, we're just scratching the surface with this man. Yeah, we're just scratching the fucking surface, bro. This is not, this ain't even close to bro, what. Bro, got the paperwork. Bro, I got the receipts. Like, if you watch CJ the champ on his, like, freaking Black Air Force energies and every single, like, whatchamacallit, it, like, Exhibit A, Exhibit B, Exhibit C, brother. This man qualifies to exhibit D and a bar beyond. Yes. There is no bro. There, he is called the embodiment of him for a reason. Literally. The embodiment of him, bro. No. He ain't even a reason. Bro. <laughs> what he did to Jake and Johan. That was so fucked up. Jake and Johan, bro. It ain't even a question. He that was daunting. Bro. Both Jake and Johan both thought they was hot. They both thought they was they was him. Yeah. And Gun was like, oh. So let me get this but huh. Let me smoke this real quick. You think that y'all doing all this stuff, all these illegal activities, making all this bread and money. Mm -hmm. Thinking that you him? <laughs> Let me remind you who I am again. Bro, he dogs the F out of Jake, bro. And don't get me wrong. Up his was, seat. Now don't get me wrong, bro. Don't get me wrong. Jake was trying to, was actually making this man bleed. But bro, yeah. Gun destroyed this man so badly. He going me and go to the dance to get his whole teeth fixed up, my brother. Like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro, he messed this man Jake so bad. He going to need to, bro, he going to need dentures for the rest of his life. <laughs> he gave him a scar, bro. Bro. And as for yo, oof, oof. It's the one. Dog. Johan thought that he was going to be good because mm -hmm. of his copy of it. But that copy don't need a damn thing to <laughs> this man gun. Man of bullied him. Mm -hmm. Disrespected him in such a degrading way possible, bro. Yes. Made this man cry. <laughs> cry! In front of everybody. In front of everybody. And this man is just smoking that pack, bro. He's smoking that goddamn Johan pack, bro. Yes. Like, like this is just another day at the dang office. <laughs> another day at the office. But you thought we was finished. Mm. 
I would be a fool to not mention this. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. The recent chapters when this Ooh. man gun appeared. When he appeared, Bro. I just hear the X music playing. Exactly. He appeared. And he was smoking that pack. He was he was ready to smoke everybody's pack in that moment. Bro. He appeared. And he told what to the worker slim? What he told Eugene's gun? <laughs> they fucked <Bro>. up. Nah. <laughs> Bro. He went up in everybody's freaking sauce. And he told everybody, like, first off, y'all is done. Mm. Two, he was like, oh, you think your twin brother is a version of me? Hmm. Do you not know who the F I am? Remember? Let me remind you. Bro, he dogged his twin brother. He dogged the black boy <laughs> on Black History Month. No, everything on Black History Month. He dogged everybody in that mug. Don't forget he dogged when Eli said, and Warren. He dogged. You love it, hustle. Bro. And keep in mind, they was on they was on some hot boy summer. They got they was waking the mastery. The guns power still up and shit. Dogged them. Dogged them. He was like, y'all is good, but you still ain't good enough. <laughs> Bro. And you think that, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, who's gonna stop this man? Who's gonna stop him? And then Eugene's like, all right, bro, I throw in the towel. It's over, please. Not enough. You don't need to do this no more. And my man Gun's like, oh, they tired? Yeah. I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to wait. <laughs> man said, they tired? They, they going to need a little rest? Don't worry, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait, but and I'm going to give them these hands again. Yeah. Bro. This man is him. Everything of what this is dude did. Carded, bro. He is yeah. literally. But Oof. Brother, brother, brother. Oof. don't get me wrong. That is the embodiment of him. Yes. But Jesus, these last two are fucking vicious. Bro. Mm. You Those said you're fucking devils. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, we said that Don was fine since he was a child. Yes. But number two. Yeah. Number two. He was fine since he been in the womb. Literally. <laughs> this man, Benji, is he. Fuck. Oh, my. Demon. Oh, 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 God. <laughs> Bro, I'm, bro, it ain't even a question. Like, bro, this man Benjamin is from the country. And everybody knows that the niggas that in the country just don't, don't fuck. They are different breeds. All they know, all they have is fight violence. Fight. And, bro. Mm. Bro, the boxer, the Ooh. little freaking champion boxer, bro. The, bro, what what do you do to this man, boxer, bro? D talk to him, please. Bro, I'm gonna him. be honest with you, bro. He's too he's too irrelevant. He's too irrelevant. <laughs> go to the judo, nigga, bro. The go judo. to that judo. Go to that judo. Oh god, the fucking wrestler. Oh no, the fucking wrestler, bro. Bro, tell him. Jesus Christ. Now, this dude, the wrestler, this big buffy boy, okay? Mm -hmm. This man, this individual, he believes that he is him, okay? 
He thinks that he is the most powerful man on earth. Yup. But I'm going to tell you right now, he may have thought he was the most powerful being on earth, but when he met Ben Jen, mm -hmm. he was contemplating on everything. Yup. Bro, this man Ben Jen, like, don't get me wrong. This man was bodying him. But when Vengeance started acting up, he started being mm. like, okay, let me teach you what I do to people in the country. Let me teach you how I do to wild boss in the country. Yeah. Bro, when I tell you this man, Vengeance, violated this man in every way possible, I ain't gonna cost by a wild life. Bro, this man was crunching breaking every single bone in this man's body literally and while he's doing it bro guess what the what this man was doing while he's on the ground while he's yeah. feeling all that pain but what he was he doing so what was he doing he was literally constipated about life exactly regret his voices exactly Bro, as soon as Finn was done, he was like, all right, time to get the F up out of here, bro. <laughs> bro. He should have never fought him in the first place. Bro. At that <laughs> moment, bro, if I'd been in that man's situation, I would never fight him again. I would never even call myself him again, bro. <laughs> hey, look, look, look. You want to know why he's above even that of Tom Lee? You see, mm -hmm. Tom Lee, he reveals the meat but then Jim, he crushes squeeze he squeezed that, that fucking squeeze heritage <laughs> the heritage <laughs> the jewels <laughs> the boys <laughs> with the most this, with the most demonic look on his face man bro like, man was like, oh, you thought you was gonna have some kids? <laughs> Guess again. <laughs> Bro, this nigga's the living embodiment of a fucking chimp when it goes chimp, nigga. <laughs> oh, God. But, Ooh. you're probably wondering mm. who even tops even that of Ben Jin? Who even tops this entire list? Ooh. Brother, brother, Ooh. Lord have mercy. This is the first ever, keep in mind, this was the first ever disrespectful video I ever put out from the They oh, first! They first! And I had to give you, I had to do it. I had to give yes. this man his flowers. Shit. Samuel Ripping Sam. Mm, Sam. Now, you're probably wondering, like, bro, what, what is the crazy shit that this man did? Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get me, get, don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. This man has done some crazy dish. You had to start nothing. off when he was a kid, man. When nothing. he was growing up. Nothing. Tell him what he did to his father. <laughs> Even that, nothing compares to what he did to this man Shao Long. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bro, I promise you, but when I saw, when I read this, when I read this for the first time, I already knew if I was ever going to make a disrespect video, it was by far number one. Exactly. This man, Samuel, while he's hanging from a flipping helicopter. Yup. He calling this man Jalo up because he heard this man was going through some shit, right? Yup. Samuel's like, if you want my help, I can offer it to you. But you got to do something special for me. I want you to bark for me. Like a bitch. Bro, I want you to bark for me like I shall speed. <laughs> I want to bark you. I need you to bark for me. Like you haven't barked in your life. Like you were just a, a little puppy trying to try to get some assistance. Bro, like bark for me. Like I am your owner. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Glee. 
I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it. At first, I was like, man, fuck that shit. Okay. <laughs> then he met Jake. Mm. And Jake was bodying him. Mm. Breaking him. Eviscerating him. And his girl is nothing but here trying to like, try to like tell him enough, it's over. Throw in the towel, it's over. It's over. Right? But before this man, Zhao Long, could be like, all right, I had enough. What does he do? Wolf. What did he do, Slim? Wolf. What did he do? Wolf. <laughs> man barked! He barked! He fucking barked! He barked! <laughs> barked like a big But what really ah. makes that disrespectful is what he does after he barks. What do you do after he barks? The slam. The mic is yours, brother. What do you do? As soon as he was done barking, bro said, you know what? I don't even feel like it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to protect you. Because you want to know why? The dude that fractured you, Jake, we on the same side. <laughs> the betrayal. <laughs> so <laughs> this man barked. Barked to try to save his girl. Try to save his whole affiliate. Literally. Was literally for nothing. Literally. Bro. No. That was I one know. of the psychs of all time. <laughs> right. He's, he's fucked up for that. Exactly. Like, that... Out of all the lookism and disrespects on this entire list, nothing, I repeat, nothing no. tops this. He made a man bark. I literally, literally. bark for him. Like he was barking for Maki Money shit. Nah. No. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> he can't recover after that, bro. There is, there is no, there is nothing to recover from it. There is no way, no way. But you probably like, mm. oh God, you thought this was, you thought this is number one. There's obviously, obviously, there's, there's no way. The there's, we, no, don't the get me wrong, we got a lot. We got a lot more. Don't get me wrong. This is all things. All right, we got so much other characters. We got a lot of honorable mentions. <laughs> but I think the one thing yeah. The one honorable mention that I, you probably didn't peep in this list mm. is none other. Yeah. The legend. Himself. Light skin Riz. Ooh. James effing Lee. Lee. <laughs> now, bro, just from his lore alone is enough to solidify mm. him. This man, this individual, Yes. Okay. This, this God. God. Exactly. Like this man is this of perfection. This man literally destroyed a whole first gen Rich. era. Yes. It was like he and he did it on his own. He didn't even need assistance. Like he, said, no, I got he, he, he had a whole crew. Unifies with his just his hands, but this man James Lee, like I don't need that crew. I just need my fists, my kicks, and that is it. All y'all my enemy. I ain't turning y'all into my allies. All y'all my enemy. <laughs> bro, bro, James Lee was a man. Because he soloed each and every one of them. In less than a fucking hour. <laughs> From the east to, to the, the west. west. Back to the east. east. Back to, to the, the west. west. <laughs> Dark. Ooh. And then one of the first gen kings, when he heard James Lee was here, like oh. he was 
Brown, bro. He's been like, first for gen king. Jay, like, keep in mind, this is first gen king. He was waiting. He was hungry. He mm. was dreaming for this moment to mm. kill this man, James, bro. And don't get me wrong, he looked, he looked it like he was going to fight. He was looked like he was going to win. He was going to get his But this man, James, not only started to get serious, but he disrespected him in the most vile way possible by telling him that he is weaker than he was before. <laughs> and look, look, look. He was doing this while wearing all what? Bro, not a single red or dirty stain. And he kept he kept that mug nice, <laughs> white, <Yeah>. and <laughs> <laughs> Because they knew they wasn't gonna touch him. Bro. If that's not top lyric and I don't know what is. Bro. No, like I said, we got it was a lot of character. Yeah, that that deserve disrespect. But bro, this video probably is already like an hour in. Yes, bro. So yes. I'm probably gonna need to end this video right here, bro. But True. bro, this has been it, bro. This was a fire ass video with a Most fire ass collab, shit. bro. My boy Slim, bro. Like, yo, check You're... out his channel, you know what I'm saying? You know, he, you know what I'm saying? He pretty much about to close in on that 2,000. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That 2,000. And I'm catching up right up on him. No We're going tender. back to back. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. But, you know, so show so, so the boys some support, you know what I'm saying? Which, by the way, son, before I end it, mm -hmm. that Sue Jung Bake and gun video. When when that coming, my boy? When that coming? Ooh, <laughs> dude, I can't give a specific date. You feel me? But I'll tell you. <laughs> let me tell you this. It's definitely coming out soon. Because trust me when I say this, bro. Perfection takes time and patience. You know what I'm saying? Doctor, doctor. <laughs> because let's be real with here, man. I don't post for quantity i post for quality you feel exactly. me exactly exactly and that's facts exactly it's all facts. facts and i know no you're gonna take i know you're taking your sweet ass time hell Versus yeah his, the embodiment of him is in your fucking video but yes hell yes <laughs> most definitely <laughs> yes <laughs> that bitch but, gonna be 10 plus minutes <laughs> Documentary type shit. Oh boy, I'm gonna see. Like I already see your freaking shots. You about to pack that bitch up in a minute. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh no, bro. That is it for this freaking video. It again, it's been a long ass freaking bit, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, but hey, may if they made it to the end of the video, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all comment. And make sure y'all subscribe exactly. for more. For, for because, both hey, of my hey, channels. Right now, we did this for Lucas. We could do more. Yeah. Wow, Just run the lights up. Manager Kim, bro. Bro, we, we can we will, we will talk about more of this. Even more. Hell now, we yeah. can't even make a whole tier list about freaking waifus if we about to go deep like this. <laughs> hey, player. Yeah? How many likes do you want them to reach? For that part bro. two, shit, bro. <laughs> no, you know, I, after after reaching a thousand, thousand, you know what I'm saying, a thousand yeah. subs, I'm a little, I'm a feel a little confident, a little cocky, but <laughs> yep. <laughs> if y'all can get this, heard, my boy, if y'all can minute. get this video, mm -hmm. 50, 50, 50 likes, fifty or more, more. fifty, fifty likes or more. Yes. Then a part two will be uploaded with yeah. possibly either viral hate or manager camp. Oh, or, or no. even more. Trust or me. Even, or even more. Like, again, look, like we will expand the horizon, you feel me? Yeah, we're going to expand this. We're going to expand this. Expand beyond PTGJ first. <laughs> Hell yeah. But I uh, know.
That's it for this video. Like this video. Comment down below. Share this video across social media if you can. And subscribe if you is new to my channel. Hey. This is Chris Nice signing out. Hey, you go out. Add Slim. <laughs> this is Slim XF on signing out. <laughs> See y'all niggas later, bro. Uh -huh. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace! Peace.